uh, I seen a, a tweet come through and it said it was from Danny Welbeck and lots of people were retweeting it. No one has said yet that Leicester have only used 18 players all season and no one has even mentioned the word doping yet. But, uh, what? Danny, don't be going there Danny because I will slap you. And then I thought, Danny Welbeck seems like an intelligent kid. He wouldn't say something so remiss as that um, and put down Leicester's achievements and, and thinking about doping. It was a spoof account, so uh, that makes sense. I didn't think Danny Welbeck would say that. But anyway, it's a question that can be asked. 18 players, all season, still going strong. Two quick points. Number one. Leicester have got an incredible backroom staff of sports scientists. There's about 20 full-time sports scientists who work there, um, getting the best out of the players each day. And Ranieri really uses them well. They gaff out, I'm feeling fine, I'm ready to train. Let's go. But it, these sports scientists are taking a look at his data. They do it each morning, taking a look at his data. Mm, he's, a little bit, he's a little bit below. Even though you don't feel it, they can see it scientifically. He's feeling a little bit low, Gaffer. Ranieri says, listen, go take a rest. Go in the gym today, lift a few weights, have an early lunch, go out, rest. I think he's a great man manager and that is one point that's happening this season. The second point is, let me use an analogy. You're in a cross country race when you were a kid. It used to happen to me all the time. And you're knackered, you're gone, you're finished. It's halfway through the race, you're finished. <laughs> you're treading water. All right. As soon as someone says to you, the teachers used to say, you've only got a mile left, or you've only got 250 yards left. What? 250? I could do that. All right, especially if you're near the front. All right, and that is what's happening to Leicester City. All the big boys will reinvest, reemploy, new managers, new players, and they'll go again hard next season. I'm, I'm positive this will not happen again. It's a one-off, incredible season. Most teams need seven or eight players on top form for most of the season to win a Premier League, especially if you're one of the top teams. Now, if you're a team like Leicester City, you've got to have 11 players, at least 10, week in, week out, with unbelievable eight, nine, 10 out of 10 performances. And that's what you've got with Leicester City. Each week, these guys, I'm telling you, I've been down, I've watched, I know about football. These guys are eight, nines, tens out of ten, all right? And if they can continue that for the last nine, ten games of the season, we will, and Leicester will be, Premier League champions. And so we'll run through the team, Schmeichel, Great shot stopper, unbelievable distribution. I love the way he gets the ball and he pings it out like sideways and puts it to straight to Marez's feet or Vardy's feet or he gets people in. He's probably assisted a few goals this season. So goalkeeper, outstanding. Still not 100% with him on crosses. He doesn't come and command his area like I'd like him to, but hey, he, uh, Leicester have got a great defensive record this season and a lot of it's down to him, so very good. Uh, the right back, Danny Simpson, since he come back in the team, he's been excellent going forward. He's been joining in with play, links well with whoever's playing in front of him, uh, covers round his uh, two centre-backs really well. And Link's play nicely, a good solid fullback. Um, I think probably up there with a the chance to go to the Euros. Morgan and Huth, superb. Uh, I thought they'd always play well against your likes of Giroud and people like that. People, centre forwards that haven't got much speed, but uh, are good with their back to goal. But them two are strong, uh, solid defenders. Come and win headers, command their penalty area. Uh, good at set pieces, good at crosses. Um, and just two solid defenders and uh, I think they're having a real good season, a real top season, 9 out of 10 for both of them to be honest and they work well as a pair. Uh, Fuchs has been a revelation since he come in, um, some, of his, some of his passing ability is unbelievable, reminds me of a left footed David Beckham, uh, he is really that good. Uh, uh, and the choices that he makes in certain positions on the pitch, very clever footballer. And in midfield, for me, you come to a position on the pitch that Leicester have, have 
bossed most of their games. That's where that's where a lot of the driving force comes from from these wins, and it's Drinkwater and Kante. Unbelievable po positional sense. Then they go and win the ball with a great tackle or a great interception, and then these two guys could not just not just like Claude Makélélé at Chelsea, who used to win it, protect well, and then give it to one of the players, or Mikel now at Chelsea. These guys great position to start with then they go and win the ball and then both of them can go on a 40 50 yard run with the ball with their dribbling ability running with the ball uh, and then they open up play draw the draw um, opposition in and then nick the little balls off to uh, the strikers to get the strikers and, and you two creative wide men in uh, it's not very often that you see that and for me that is the whole Catalyst. Them two are the whole catalyst for Leicester City and how well they're doing this season. And then you come to, let's get uh, Albrighton out of the way. Uh, not that I want to talk about him quickly because I think he's brilliant. Sometimes he crosses the ball without looking. Sometimes that's, a, that's an added benefit. Sometimes it's a little bit of a hindrance because the players have still not got into position in the box, but he still swings the ball in. But good high energy footballer. Runs well with the ball, unbelievable ability to cross it. Real top season, and he surprised me because I think when when we signed him, I thought, what are we signing him for? He, his day's done, but he's come in and he's done really well. So fair play to him. The star of the show. This guy can go and play anywhere he wants in the world, in my opinion. Uh, I really don't think Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, any of them top top top. European teams I don't think he'd be out of place there because I think his game would just develop so and that's Riyad Mahrez for me and I don't think I'm talking too soon or out of term I think this guy is probably probably the best football player we've ever had at the club in terms of dribbling ability skill technique talent uh, I think he's number one strikers Okazaki's been playing most of the season uh, Ujoa comes on now and again for him, but ok Okazaki doesn't score enough goals. Um, but you ask anyone in that team, I bet they love playing with him. His work rate, uh, his ability to hold the ball up for such a small man and bring other players into play is uh, outstanding. Score a few more goals if he wants to go on to be a top striker in the Premier League. But other than that, I think he's brilliant. And then the main man, Mr Vardy. Uh, pace, defiance, passion, ability, strength, he's got everything, he's got everything, he's just, he's just one of them players I look at and I think if you're a centre back you'd hate to play against him, he's not doing no fancy tricks or no skills, he's blasting by you and he's hitting the target. Uh, and hopefully he'll go on to win the Golden Boot and, and for a team and a club like Leicester City to be doing what they're doing is absolutely unbelievable and long may it continue to the end of the season um, I got brought up an Arsenal fan but I was born in Leicester so um, I've always been a Leicester fan my dad brought me up as an Arsenal fan because he's from Highbury in London um, so I've got a special place for both of them but without doubt 100% I want Leicester City to win the Premier League.